Wow. That's a lot of Zeeks in there. Oh, nice. We got another level. Holy smokes, man. That There was four in there. Oh, look at that. Another weapons back and a safe. No wonder there were so many sleepers in there. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. Uh, we are now on build 143. They just uh, came out with an update. This is Friday evening for me, October the 11th. Um, all right, so uh, I read through the patch notes for this last update. And uh, didn't see anything really specific necessarily about the issue I had in the last episode. But um, one thing they are saying to do is if you if you do experience uh, massive frame rate drops, to turn texture streaming on. Now, I remember having this on in Alpha 17 caused uh, some textures to, um, you know, look really blurry and all messed up. So, but let's go ahead and just turn that on for now and, you know, we'll see what happens. So maybe between that and, you know, the, the, the new build that they just came out with, we won't encounter that problem again. All right. So you might be wondering, okay, why are you, um, on top of your old roof in the dark with no equipment? Well, guess what happened? I got killed again. <laughs> um, I was, um, I was um, working on the new base, you know, trying to uh, dig a pit and get that, you know, get it blocked off. And I got rushed by a uh, a uh, stripper biker wandering horde. Um, and so I, I tried to funnel them, you know, through that little corridor that I was in where I was fighting the other zombies. And long story short, I did manage to kill all of the strippers, you know, with a combination of the spikes that I was able to lay down, you know, you know and just shooting them with the bow and stuff. Uh, but the biker managed to break through, and um, and he killed me, basically. Uh, partly because too, I was I was at that point I was still having really bad lag problems, you know, with that frame rate issue, and um, so I just couldn't, you know, he, he kind of, I, I wouldn't say he glitched through the spikes, but he was managed to kind of jump on on top. I turned the other direction to kind of get away from him, and then my frames tanked because I was facing the south again, and and he killed me. So. Now we're at two deaths, which really sucks, and we have to go back there again in the dark <laughs> to get all of our shit. Um, so yeah, that's pr pretty much you know basically where we're at here. Um, so it is now um, almost day seven, and uh, so I guess the good news, if you want to call it that, is that we could take a load of stuff back to the base with us on our way back to get our stuff. The only thing about that, though, is that um, we can't really get our stuff if we already have a full inventory of all of this stuff. So, hmm, I'm not sure what the best way to handle that is. You know, and there's always that, that possibility, too, that I'll get killed again, you know, going back. But yeah, you know, it's not really that far away. So I think what we should probably do is, is not take a bunch of crap with this and we'll just go... You know, just in case I do ha actually happen to die again. Um, so that being the case, let's go ahead and take the, the axe. So at, le at least we have that with us. Um, maybe we'll take a, a red tea and a bacon and eggs so we have something to eat and drink. And pray that we don't uh, get food poisoning by eating that. Oh, there was something else too. I actually looted this art of mining um, off camera, you know, yesterday or the day before. And I wanted to wait uh, until... I was on camera to show that to you guys. So this basically is what allows me to make the black strap coffee, which is a super strong lasting coffee. Keeps you warm, warmer than a well digger's ass. Okay. Uh, I didn't know well digger's asses were warm. Um, and apparently this allows us to, uh, you know, the black strap coffee gives us like, you know, pretty good buffs, you know, stamina wise and warmth wise and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and read that. Um, can, let's look at that for a minute. Can can we just like make that in here? So we need coffee beans, bottled water, and gun, <laughs> and gunpowder. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah. See, this doesn't tell us what exactly it gives us, though. It just says all that. So I guess we'll figure that out. You know, when we uh, when we get it. Okay. So we've got to go that way. 
where there's uh, two Zeeks. So I think what I'll do... I don't know if I want to keep you with me or not. I guess I could. It's, it's going to be a little bit intense getting back over there. Um, you know what we need, too, is we need stones because we can use the stones to distract them. So let's hop on down here and we'll pick up some stones. And we need Actually, we need some stone to repair this, too. So, yeah, let's do that first. And uh, I will... Uh, I'll up the gamma... Uh, in editing, so you guys can see a little bit better than I can right at the moment. Oh, you know what? I want some wood frames, too. So let's put some of those on our toolbar. Okay. So I'm going to whack this uh, boulder here. Oh, man, we got easy money there, but we have no way to kill him. I don't think he sees us. So yeah, let's just get a few stones so I can use them to distract the Zeeks. He does seem to be coming over this way, doesn't he? Yeah, I, he doesn't actually... Oh, does he detect me? Hard to say. I'm not sure if he does or not. He does kind of look like he's coming towards me, doesn't he? You know, in old school seven days, I don't know, three or four alphas back, um, the little, you know, the little stealth meter in the lower left-hand corner, the eyeball would actually open if you were detected by a zombie. Now it just stays open all the time, so you never really know for sure if they've detected you or not, other than, you know, the obvious, uh, the obvious signs, like them coming after you, etc., cetera, et cetera. My, my guess is that he knows something's going on over here, but I don't think he actually has me aggroed. Maybe, maybe not. Well, see, he, <laughs> he doesn't now. He doesn't now. I think he just hears something going on, but he doesn't really know what it is. So yeah, that sucked that we died again, but you know, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I was working to try and get that base secured and, you know, between that getting rushed by a stripper biker horde, which is scary AF, by the way. Um, and you know, that problem I was having with the lag, I mean, it's just shit happens, right? So kind of the way it went. All right. So we just need to avoid being seen. Um, why is that sky turning red? That's a little, that's a little scary. <laughs> it's like, that looks like a Horde Knight red. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's just start moving towards, back towards our bag and our new base. And uh, once we get there, we'll get our stuff and then just kind of keep, you know, keep working on things, really. And then, you know, we, we do have, of course, it is Horde Day now. So we're going to have to figure out a solution for tonight. Uh, what I might end up doing for that is I might end up just camping out on the, um, the apartment building roof. That's usually a pretty good place to spend a horde night, especially an early game horde. So we need to um, we need to get over and kind of secure that if that's what we're gonna do, which I think it is. Oh, one other thing I want to mention, I, I think I'm I'm going to probably make just a really quick a uh, channel announcement update video on Sunday. Um, but I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be out of town from October 14th till October 23rd. I'm going to be on a business trip in Vegas. And then after my business is over, I'm going to stay there with my wife for a few more days and have a little mini vacation. And so, depending upon how much recording I can get done this weekend, 
I probably will not have enough content to continue releasing daily videos for that entire time. So um, I should I should have enough content, you know, for the, the, the entire next week coming up here. But the week after, um, the last few days of my trip, I probably won't have anything uh, coming out on the channel. I just want to let you guys know that so you're not wondering, you know, what's going on. Because I do, for the most part, I do, you know, try and release daily videos on this channel. Um, and, you know, on top of that, I've got three series going on, too. Well, actually four, but uh, we're going to have to change something. But I'll, I'll announce all of that when, uh, when I do the actual announcement video on Sunday. I'm going to record it on Sunday, but I'll probably release it Monday morning. Uh, and, again, and again, today's October the 11th, just so you know. I think this video I'm recording right now will be released on Tuesday morning, which will be October 15th. All right. Um, so, yeah. I guess uh, we just kind of keep carefully moving back towards our stuff. And try not to be detected. Yeah, but I... I don't remember. I think if I don't know if I think it was Alpha 16. I want to say where they changed the eyeball, so it no longer opened up when you were detected. And I kind of I don't know. I kind of missed that. I guess in some ways, I suppose it was a little bit unrealistic because you know you could be hidden behind a wall and then it would open up and you would know you were detected, even though. You wouldn't necessarily know that for real. Um, but I don't know. It was just, it was just really useful. Like, I kind of miss it. Particularly, you know, if we're going to be playing a stealth, stealthy character, which we definitely are doing, of course, in this uh, first experimental season that we're doing here. Uh, wolf and zombie. Fighting, I guess. Okay, we'll let them. We'll let them have at it. I don't want. Oh no, I guess they're not fighting. They're just. They're just there. All right. So yeah, I made I made this little walk uh, off camera too before I started the episode where I was up on the. The Shaka Messiah factory. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit scary doing this <laughs> when you have no weapons or equipment, walking around in the dark. On the other hand, the dark can also help be helpful in hiding you, but you can also step on top of a zombie dog and not see him either, as we've already witnessed. <laughs> Man, that scared the hell out of me. Oh, jeez. You guys will see that video, I think, on Sunday morning. Comes out on Sunday morning. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Yeah, so hopefully that texture streaming that we turned on is not going to cause blurry textures like it did in 17. We'll have to see. But I guess if it's, you know, between blurry textures and six frames per second, I'll take the blurry textures because otherwise we basically can't play the game. We got some Zeeks over that way. Just keep to the shadows here. I kind of... No, no, we're okay. I was going to say, it seems like I might have gotten off path, off the path a little bit, but I think we're actually going to play. I uh, don't think I'm going to loot anything right now. We don't. We just need to get back to our stuff. So, yeah, I, the next, uh, you know, the next priority for us, of course, is to get the base, get the base secured and get it set up so we can actually start using it. Oh, there's a shamway right there. Uh, wait, where's the shamway? Oh, it's one of those dungeon shamways. It's not like a normal shamway.
Okay, lady, go the other way. Leave us alone. Right, let's um, let's get her to run off. There she goes. <laughs> That's so funny. Let's make him go the other way too. I, don't, I just think that's funny. I don't know why. It, it just is. Okay. So. We're back at our. Our base. And I'm turning to the south. And we're not having the same. Frame rate issue that we had before. So that's a good sign. The thing about that though. Is that I, I mean. I've, I've recorded what. Nine, ten episodes. Oh, shit it's dark. Um. Without any problem. And then all of a sudden it just started happening. So it was just really weird. Keep in mind, guys, you know, you probably can see. Uh, because I have the gamma. I'll turn the gamma up and editing. I can't see a damn thing. It is pitch black right now. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay. Um, I don't really want to do any kind of a light source right at the moment. Um, and we have to be careful because I've got spikes sitting down, too. Oh, man, I can't see a damn thing. Okay, let's do this. Let's go all the way over here so we're up against the wall. Right, there's the counter. And then I, I started digging, like, a little pit right there. Okay, so we just dropped in the pit. Now, if we go... Where the hell am I at? Okay, yeah. I think if we go... I think there's spikes, like, right here. In fact, if I do this... Yep. I can kind of see them. So we've got a spike there. Oh, I can't jump up because there's a ceiling there. Shit. Okay, I guess we're going to have to break this. I need to turn my game sound up just a little bit so I can hear better. Okay. Okay, so now it's clear. My bag should be right... Uh, wait, where is my bag? Showing over that way. I think he killed me around the corner here. There it is. Okay. Um. Oh shit, we gotta we gotta put all this back on, eh? I must be confusing this with Imperion, because in Imperion you don't lose your armor when you die. Let's put this on the toolbar. Uh, okay, we'll put the shotgun there. Where's the AK at? Right here. That's broke. And we want the spikes on our toolbar as well. Oh, we, we got to get our... Yeah, we, I want to put the bow there. There we go. I always like to have my melee weapon in the first slot, my ranged weapon in the second slot, and then, you know, whatever guns I have after that. That's just kind of the, kind of the way I do it. All right, we are massively encumbered. So now what we have to do is we have to get upstairs, which actually we can just walk up the stairs. Well, I don't know if I want to risk a flashlight right now, though. So let's do this. Let's put... Let's fill this back in with spikes for tonight. 
Uh, yeah, here's the quarter here. So this has spikes all along here. I don't know what kind of shape they're in, but... Uh, we'll put a couple down in the little pit that I dug. And then we'll just fill this up, and I'll just, you know, I'll break them in the morning to finish up. There. Okay, so I think, uh, is this the stairs? I think I'm going to go ahead and do the flashlight now, because we're relatively safe. Oh, gosh, that's bright. <laughs> Man, I hope no sleepers, uh, respawned up here. That would suck. Whew, this is intense, man. This is intense, you guys. <laughs> I have to tell you, I have not been this um, on edge, we'll say, with seven days to die in a long time. And I, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I want this game to scare the hell out of me, man. Okay, let's move all the way up here and uh, so I look, for a minute there that looked like a zombie slouched over okay so I think what we're gonna do to get started is we're going to we're gonna actually base up in this room but my plan is to eventually repair, you know, like this whole floor, or at least this section of the floor, to make our actual base. But uh, we're going to start in here. Because, you know, it's kind of small in here, but it'll be, you know, we'll be safe in here from, uh, uh, from uh, vultures. Why am I not wearing those? I need to wear those. You know what? We don't have a doggone sleeping bag with us. Do we? Oh, man. Well, that means we're going to have to get some grass. Okay. Well, let's think about this for a minute. How we're going to set things up in here. So I think what we'll do is we're going to... We'll eventually take, you know, these guys apart, of course. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll... We'll put our bedroll in this corner. And maybe we'll put like crafting stations along that wall, and then we'll put like storage along this wall. So let's make a storage chest. I know we have one up on the roof too, but let's make one here so we can drop off what we currently have. And then we'll go get the stuff off the roof and then go from there. Okay, so I'm just going to set these on the wall like in this configuration here. So we'll just start with one chest in that corner. Do I have a torch with me? I do. Amazing. Okay, let's just pop that right on the wall so we have a little bit of light up here. Cool. All right. So, let's see. What do we not need to be carrying around right at the moment? We do need some food. Let's eat this because I don't want to risk food poisoning right at the moment. So we'll have some of that. Uh, we can take a tea. Whoops, hit the wrong button there. So basically, just anything we don't need to be carrying around right at the moment. No point in carrying those around until we can repair them. Um, let's see, what else? What else? Put the bacon and eggs in there. We'll keep the feathers with us. The jars can go in there. Pain pills can go in there. Want to keep the lock picks. Uh, we don't need two flashlights. Definitely want to keep the honey with us. Let's put that there. That can go there. I guess we better keep these with us for now until we can get the actual axe and pick itself repaired. We don't need two, though. Let's toss one of those. Okay. Um, barbed wire. I think I'm going to stick that in there for the moment, too. We do need to make some more spikes. Let's do that right now with whatever wood, a little bit of wood we have. We can make 11. Let's make 10 so we have a tiny bit of wood left over for repairing and stuff. Okay, cool. 
Now we're going to go up on the roof and get the stuff that we have up here. Just making sure there's nobody up here. Okay. I guess we can just leave that chest there. There's no reason not to. Um, we should probably put a hatch on here. So let's do that. We'll wait for those spikes to finish up. All right, guys, so it is day seven. And so I think what I want to do is we're going to we're going to unload our stuff. We're going to make ourselves a bedroll so we can set a new spawn point here. And then we're probably going to go ahead and get our horde base secure. So that's ready to go. And then depending upon how much time we have, we might go. I don't know. We might go do one of those buried treasures. Uh, maybe or something like that. We'll have to see. That is such a such a cool POI, but very, very dangerous POI, too. We should repair this. Well, actually, you know what, though? They can't... Well, in theory, they can't really get up there anymore. And then what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to, you know, I'll haul the rest of our stuff over here from the other place and keep, you know, keep working on getting the uh, lower section secured by finishing out, you know, the the pit down there. And that's fine. We'll just leave that like so. Let's see. We might as well. Where's our hammer? Let's go ahead and reinforce this too. Sounds like we got somebody's attention. We need to make like a little, um, you know, some murder holes or something to kill these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's go on down there. Yeah, they're just going to be banging on the walls here because they don't really have any a pathway to get to us. Um, You know, and I'm not going to use this area anyways. I mean, eventually what I'll probably do is just bust out the stairs. I just don't have the tools to do that yet. So you know what I think I'll do in case they do break through that wall over there? Uh, let's just lay some more spikes down here too. And that will discourage them from trying to come up these stairs anyway. Okay. So that's not... Definitely not 100% secure, but I think it'll... Help us for the moment. How many Zeeks do we have down there? It sounds like there's more than one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! I'm like pushing myself off the... <laughs> off the window there. That's not what we want to do. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and get... Our stuff unloaded. Did we go in here? We never did. Did it? Wait. Did we? No. We got another room to loot. Let's let's do it. Whoa! Oh shit! What the hell? There were sleepers in there. All right. Well, let's let him uh, break down the door. Now, this place is definitely not secure yet. <laughs> not by a long shot. How many Zeeks do we have in there? I'm a little bit nervous about what's going on down there, too. I mean, I think I blocked it off pretty good, but... Here, let's, um... I mean, this wouldn't hold him for long, but... Wow, there's a lot of Zeeks in there.
Oh, nice. We got another level. Holy smokes, man. That There was four in there. Oh, look at that. Another weapons bag and a safe. No wonder there were so many sleepers in there. You know, that's another reason why we need to get our bedroll down, because it'll stop more spawns. Oh, we're out of time already. Okay, what do we got in here? A stun baton or rifle? Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, we will... We'll break in that thing later. We, <laughs> this is a... It's a little unnerving right now. Okay. Yeah, you know what we need to do, you guys? We need we need to get these stairs broken out. We just have to do it because we're just not safe down here right now. Well, we got a little more ammo, too, for our weapon, so that's a good thing. Another hunting rifle, another shotgun. All right. I don't know exactly where those guys are. It sounds like they're right below me, but... So let's, um... Let's just at least put these here. I mean, I know they can bust through those, like, super fast, but it buy us a tiny bit of time. Maybe we'll do this, too. Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get in and out of this place by, um, from the outside. But we'll probably, like, do some kind of a little platform with a, a gap that we can jump kind of thing. And then, you know, down lower and then some ladders all the way up here. Okay, well, in fact, we could even maybe do it right out this window here. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, let's unload the rest of this stuff um, that we don't need right at the moment. And uh, I'm going to keep the canned food with me. This um, this is interesting. We'll have, oh, shit. Sounds like they're breaking boards already. Did they already get up here? Unless they, unless they were uh, breaking the spikes. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we ought to make our our ingress out, like say this window here, just so we're we're just coming right into where the actual base part of the base is, at least for the moment. Okay. Anyway, um, let's get back on track here. So we're gonna put all that stuff in there for now. I don't think I'm going to carry the sledgehammer with me at the moment. Uh, the murky water's not doing anything for us. Let's get that in there. Uh, improved fittings mod. Um, I don't think we have anything that we can put that on. Just have two or one, one mod slot. I think it only has one. Yeah, it only has one. Okay. What about this? That's got a pocket in it. What does improved fittings do, by the way? Oh, mobility. Okay. Can we put it in here? Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, good. Okay, that'll help us move move about a little bit more. Um, I'm, I'm interested in trying out the stun baton, but hmm, I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. <clears throat> I'd like to get be a little tougher and have a little bit better armor before we start trying melee with these settings in this game. So, uh, what I want to do in terms of another point here is I want to uh, I want to take now, you know, we're going to really start looking seriously at the, um, you know, the fortitude tree for sure. But I think fists and machine guns, yeah. I think we're going to still stay with agility for a little bit longer while we're still in the early game here. And I want this next point in from the shadows. So I think that's just really helped us out. Now it's really, really going to help us out. <laughs> and I'm going to put at least one more point in archery as well. 
and then after that we'll kind of see you know where we are point wise and if see if we want to go like a different direction or stick with agility even just a little bit longer but anyway uh we're out of time so i'm gonna let you go in this episode <clears throat> and uh, when we come back in the next episode uh the priorities are get a bedroll down in this place get the place secured and then um you know get ready for horde night okay so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel here, let's pause this uh don't forget to share out the video and leave comments those things you have the channel and i do appreciate it. let me remind you just once again real quick that i will be gone from october the 14th to the 23rd and the latter part of that trip i may not have any content out on the channel it just depends upon how many videos i get recorded and edited and uploaded this week because i am leaving on monday okay thanks guys we'll see you in the next episode Bye bye